coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 meteorologist Everett Lau. Good Sunday morning. Here's a look at what we're tracking as we finish up the weekend. If you've been not liking these 90 degree temperatures, we have a slow cooling trend on the way, so eventually we're going to get back to more seasonable conditions. We're also going to bring back some hazy conditions. We've got some more Canadian wildfire smoke that's getting ready to drift overhead, so that's going to be a little bit of a hazy sky that we're going to see the next few days. Other than that, more continued sunshine on the way and unfortunately still in a dry weather pattern. So as we look at temperatures this morning after dropping into the 60s, the sunshine's boosted most places back into the 70s, 72 right now in Olney and Vincennes, 71 for Sullivan, Terre Haute and Newton, 69 in Paris and 70 right now in Mattoon and Rockville. So looking at the temperature trend over the next five days, still going to be a unseasonably warm day today. The average is 80 topping out in the upper 80s for the high, maybe making it to 90 if you're farther to the south, but just a touch cooler than it was yesterday when we topped out at 93 here in Terre Haute. And then we're going to stay in the middle to upper 80s Monday and Tuesday, but then we'll see a cold front come through Tuesday night going into Wednesday, and that'll drop us back down close to where we should be in the lower 80s Wednesday and Thursday. So we'll get some cooler air if you're tired of these 90 degree temperatures. Looking at the Storm Team 10 storm tracker this morning and nothing overhead other than a few clouds obviously staying nice and dry, but we do have a breeze coming out of the northeast, so stirring up the air just a little bit, but what it's also going to be doing is bringing in that wildfire smoke. Now the last few weeks we had the smoke coming in from the northwest. The smoke from these fires are actually out in Quebec, and so this northeast breeze is going to be bringing in that wildfire smoke over the next few days. So again, you'll just notice kind of a hazy sky. It's mostly going to stay up above in the atmosphere, so it shouldn't uh, degrade our air quality too much over the next few days. So mostly you'll just notice the hazier sky during the day and maybe some more red sunsets once the sun sets this evening and over the next few evenings. Looking at the cookout forecast this afternoon, going to be a nice day. Again, temperatures topping out in the upper 80s, so a bit on the warm side, but once again, not humid. So we have the heat, no humidity, but unfortunately, all the less humidity means we're not getting any of the rain that we could use across the Wabash Valley. So look at future cast. Not going to find any rain as we go over the next few hours. We go into the afternoon. A lot of those high clouds pass out, so I think we'll see a nice clear sky by the time we get to this evening. We'll keep the sky mostly clear going into the overnight hours, and that sets us up for more sunshine once we get into Monday. Again, a touch cooler tomorrow with temperatures in the middle 80s for the high. And we'll keep that breeze out of the northeast. So. Other than passing clouds and the hazy conditions from the wildfire smoke, not much happening over the next few days. So 89 degrees for the high today, mostly sunny with that gentle breeze out of the northeast. It could gust at times up to 20 miles per hour. And then tonight dropping down to 58, so a bit of a cooler night under a mostly clear sky. And then tomorrow 86 degrees for the high, warm and hazy with that breeze still out of the northeast. And the seven-day forecast shows we stay dry through the extended period. However, by the time we get to Wednesday, that front may squeeze out an isolated shower, not a widespread event. Maybe some more scattered showers by the time we get to next week, and we'll keep our fingers crossed for the rain. Maybe not the best timing, but we'll see if we can get some rain out of that next system.